guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another plant video. I had a really fun time at the swap. I love being able to meet you guys and talk to you guys and just talk to other people about plants. It's awesome. Tall Plants ended up doing it to where the whole shop was 20% off for all of us, so that was like amazing. <laughs> Definitely go check them out. I have a video about them also if you guys want to see what the shop looks like. They're great, great, great people. It's definitely worth your time to go out there and buy some plants because they have really cool plants. I did want to preface this video by telling you guys that I actually have some pretty bad social anxiety. It's pretty bad. It's not even just social anxiety. Like I'm scared of everything. <laughs> but plants make social gatherings like this way easier than just like a regular social gathering you know we get to talk to other people about plants and it's great and i love it but i did want to mention something because a few of you guys sort of reached out about this because you're in the same boat that i am where it's really difficult to say no to things so plant swaps are really scary for some people because you don't want to offer a plant that is amazing and you know worth money that you spent on it and then get something that's not of equal value back so people are scared of that and for good reason um something that i want to sort of put out there to you guys in case you're either going to a plant swap or you are planning a plant swap maybe this would be a good rule to follow maybe don't pick other people's plants up and take them to your station before the person has had a chance to look at your station, just point at the plant, say, hey, I love that plant. I'd be willing to trade something for that plant. I'm not sure if I have anything that you want, but here are my things. And then if the person says like, oh, I'm sorry, I already have some of that, you could offer money or you could just say, okay, like, I'm sorry. And then that's done with the situation. Because if you pick up the plant and then take it to your station, it makes the situation a lot more awkward and kind of uncomfortable to tell you no, especially if you're the kind of person like me who has a very difficult time saying no. <laughs> um, and it's just, it's harder. It's, it's a much harder situation than just like a back and forth, you know, conversation. It's a place and an event where you want to talk to other people and having this like awkward, like, I might just go ahead and take that back from you and go back to my station. It makes it weird. <laughs> I don't know if you guys understand. Um, I hope that you do and it doesn't come off the wrong way. But that is how some people feel and how some of you guys have told me that you feel. So yeah, that would definitely help us out, I think, and make the whole thing a lot more fun. But yeah, I did want to go ahead and just say that. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the haul part of the video. I got this Christmas cactus from one of you guys. I was really happy. You are so nice. It was really nice meeting you. You definitely like brightened my day up. So thank you so much for the cutting of the Christmas cactus. Um, I, I know my mom like loves Christmas cactus and so does my aunt. So it's definitely something that will be admired by me and my family. Um, but yeah, I got that one. And then I also got this Sansevieria honey from Sergio Hort's plants on Instagram. He is super cool to talk to, has a really cool Sansevieria collection. I definitely recommend going and checking him out. Super fun. I traded my Hoya Nimolarioides for this and I love it so much. Uh, it's adorable. I, I mean, like, it's so cute. So <laughs> I'm definitely trying to expand my Sansevieria collection, if you guys can tell. But yeah, I got that guy. And then I also got this succulent from uh, Tiffany, the Hoya lady, the amazing Hoya lady that I did a video about a few videos ago. She actually went to the swap and she brought some succulents and some Peperomia prostrata. I traded my Hoya, I think Pubicalic Splash cutting with some like Dishidia cuttings and it was it was like one other thing I think that I traded but I'm not sure. And I got this succulent. Um, it has like these really pretty like pink backs 
it's super cute she said that it has like really pretty flowers but she forgot what the name of it was so if you know what it is go ahead and let me know in the comments down below but yeah i did get this guy and then she also told me to grab another plant since i was trading more than just one plant um and i ended up getting this little pot of turtles it's so like pepperomia frustratas are so stinking cute like i I think that if I ever come across getting another string of turtles, like either at Lowe's or Walmart or wherever, I'm almost definitely going to buy it because it is so stinking cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But yeah, I got another one of these. And then I have my friend, The Plant Vibe on Instagram, who she actually had gone to Tiffany's the day before and she had sent me a bunch of pictures of plants that she had in stock and I ended up buying this Hoya Rang San from Tiffany and then Nicole ended up bringing the Rang San to the swap so that way she could just like hand it to me there but I did want to show you guys it. It is super beautiful. As a lot of you guys know, this has been on my wish list for forever and it is so freaking pretty and splashy and veiny and it's just def it's one of the prettiest toys i think that's out there and i'm so stinking happy that i have it in my collection finally and then she had actually bought this hoya caudata and she told me that she would sell it to me just because it wasn't really doing it for her which i don't it's so pretty i don't know how she like actually had the heart to let it go but it's so stinking cute i think she put this little like trellis in there that it is just even cuter the little pot is adorable the plant itself is just as beautiful as ever um my little caudata that i bought from tiffany actually is looking very sad and i don't have very much hope for it but I'm really happy that I got this one because it's so freaking cute and then the last thing that I got from the plant vibe is this jade satin cutting these jade satin cuttings are so freaking pretty i really wanted a jade satin and i couldn't find any online that weren't ridiculous prices so i couldn't believe that she actually had those i traded my philodendron silver sword for this like the whole mama plant she told me that she was going to get me some hoya cuttings so i'm really excited about that so yeah that's another thing that you could do if you don't have like super fancy plants on your table and you really want something you could offer maybe something that you have at home that you didn't bring that would also be another option but yeah that's everything that i got from the plant vibe and then i got a peperomia incana from kyle on instagram she's super sweet i love her she had some really cool plants there too i couldn't believe that she was like swapping this I love it. I've seen one of these before and it was just so adorable. I le it left me wanting one for sure. And it's one of those plants that I think is probably my favorite peperomia now. It is just so stinking cute. I love it. But yeah, I was really happy about this swap. And then the last person that I swapped with was Courtney from Pretentious Bell on Instagram. She actually was leaving and she asked me if I wanted this black pagoda lipstick plant and I said sure thing so I ended up getting it. I was really happy about that and I had actually traded my Hoya Birkin for this really 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 beautiful Hoya that she had. Um, I think this is called a Hoya Calicina. Um, I had actually like almost ordered this on Logis and I decided not to and then it went out of stock and then I regretted it. So when I saw that she had it, I was just super excited because these leaves are fuzzy, y'all. You know how much I love fuzzy leaves. <laughs> and it's a really, really nice sized plant. I was so happy that she actually wanted to trade with me. She had some really cool plants. I think somebody ended up getting like a mosaica from her. She also had like a Hoya Australis super fun i was really happy that she was there because i love this plant so so much but yeah i think that's it for my haul video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys learned something if you guys went to a swap recently go ahead and let me know your experience 
or if you want to go to a swap, go ahead and let me know. Today's plant tuber friend of the day is going to be planting the world red. I love her videos. She makes come with me's. She also makes unboxings. She has some really cool plants. I would definitely recommend going and checking her out. I love her. But yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys like the video, go ahead and hit the like button down below. And if you like me and you like plant videos, go ahead and subscribe if you want to. Also, go check out my Instagram. I never really shout out my Instagram, but if you want to go check it out, go and check it out. And I post a lot on my stories. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye!